Thank you. So I'd like to start by asking you to imagine what you would be able to do if I gave you the power to store the energy from the sun in a box. You could use it to keep yourself warm in the middle of winter, which would not be a bad idea at the moment. Or you could think a little bit bigger and use it to keep solar power plants running at night, because that's what I want to do with it. See, there's a problem with renewable energy, and it's that it doesn't work over half the time, unfortunately. And we need power all the time. See, at 2 a.m. in the morning, when you flick the switch, you need to know that your lights are going to come on. We call it energy reliability, energy independence. That's what we want to give you, because our solar power, we only get it through the day. And no amount of increasing our capacity, increasing our efficiency, increasing our production is ever actually going to solve this problem. It just gives us more power when we don't need it. What we need to be able to do is store the energy we get through the day so that we can use it at night when we need it. And there is a fairly apparent solution to this. Most people jump pretty immediately to get some batteries. And if you've got a few solar panels on your roof or you've got a small wind turbine in your backyard, batteries are a great idea. But when you start thinking statewide, national-wide, international-wide, electric batteries don't benefit from what we call economies of scale. It doesn't get significantly cheaper to make a million of them than to make one. <coughs> but storing electrical energy is only one option. There's another option. What we do is we store the energy we get as heat, like thermal storage. And you may or may not have ever heard of thermal storage before, but there's actually more thermal storage capacity installed in the world right now than every electric battery ever made combined. So it's doing pretty well, and it's growing. It's growing at 11% a year, one of the fastest growing markets there is. It is most certainly the way of the future, which is great news for me because I make thermal batteries. That's what I do. <laughs> I make a new type of thermal battery, actually. So my work at the University of Newcastle was about making a new way to store energy. We created a brand new type of metal alloy that we want to make out of recycled materials to store energy in an engineered structure, basically hotter than anyone else, which means we make power plants more efficient than they already are. We store it denser than anyone else which means we use up less land. And most importantly, we can get energy in and out of our systems over 10 times faster than what anybody else is doing, which means you get the power when you want the power, which is great. So we've done the science and we've done the engineering. That's what we're good at. What we're looking for now is people who are in the market of producing energy, particularly renewable energy, and we want to work with you to help enhance your technology to make it more economic and more productive. We also want to meet passionate, driven individuals so that we can diversify our team and make sure that we can keep these lights on all day, every day, forevermore. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>